Let's jump Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as Clan Scryer. Let's jump Total War here. Let's jump Total War here. Let's jump Total War here, and. Let's jump Total War here. Let's jump Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as the Dark Elves. We've got a. Caribidus Doomstack. Now, I've never seen this before. Uh, they're starting to come up on the walls. Eh, get them off, get them off, get them off. I wonder if we had a military alliance with Tyrion. We can check. If we have a look here. There's no broken treaties with them, so they just straight up declared war. Got a fair bit of magic now. The Manticore should be able to beat a Jaro Bomber. Ungram Ironfist got himself a pretty much a Doomstack there. Alright, Jezails are going to be crucial for dealing with uh, enemy heroes. So, even though these Dread, Dread Knights here have shattered, we do have also quite a few Plague Claw Catapults, so they're going to come in handy. I've always found that Eshin Triads are terrible uh, anti-large units. Glade Guard, Starfire Shafts, they've got a counter. Uh, tree Men, they've got a counter. Tree Kin, counter. Heroes, counter. Chaos with a Dragon Ogre Shagath spam. Dragon Ogre Shagaths. Dragon Ogre Shagaths. Dragon Ogre Shagaths are anti-large units. Even anti-large cavalry from Bretonia still get wrecked uh, by Dragon Ogre Shagaths. These guys are just not going to be able to get to the Hellstorm Rocket Battery. Like, and if they do manage to get to it, the Hellstorm Rocket Battery will have already used up most of its ammo. And if you do get a Civil War, that should basically make sure it's to your favor. It can be really irritating. These chariots are only tier 1 units. Like, you probably shouldn't be having them in your army at this point in the campaign, but... I'm not trying to lose the units. Alright, Snitch isn't actually doing all that well there. He mustn't be particularly high leveled up. Let's, let's get him out of here. Let's jump Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle, and we've got a bit of a unique situation here, because playing as the Empire with Volkmar the Grim. Let's jump Total War here. 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 Let's jump Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as Krokgar going up against an ambush. Let's jump Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster campaign playing as the Golden Order. Let's jump Total War here, and today I want to talk to you about the channel and some goals I've got for it. Because I don't want to meet Norsecan factions, for example, because I know that they have a habit of declaring war on you. Ancient Salamanders, we'll, we'll see. Sacred Croxigors, in a, in a line situation, might be okay. They'd be right there as well. Ample Crook there. Now, this save file here was sent in by somebody who's newer to Total War, uh, specifically the Total War Warhammer 2. So... We are besieging, well, yeah, we're besieging Hexawaddle. Okay, yeah. Melee units don't concern me. Okay, that's Carl France. Melee units don't concern me. It's the top five most boring factions in a total war game. If you look at Bretonia, Bretonia's got some interesting... is very weak, okay? You could, if you really want to, just vassalize a lot of the Norskan guys and let them do it for you. Meanwhile, you just sit up in the north and chill and suck each other off. Sigvold probably enjoys that. 